Hello everyone. We will continue the topic modulization technique function module. And in the previous video, we created the function group using SC80 transaction code. Now we will go for the creation of function module through which transaction code SC37. So I will go to SC37 transaction code. We all know whenever we want to create a function module, the first thing we need to create a function group and we already created the function group. Now I will create a function module. The title bar is itself function builder. So I will give some name to the function module. We all know the first name should start with Z or Y. So I gave suppose ZFM. Suppose I'm saying sum of two numbers because what is our requirement? I want to create a function module for the sum of two numbers. I will go for create. Now you can see the first thing it is asking for name of the function group. Now we will pass the name of the function group which we created. This is the name of the function group which we created. I will give short text to the function module. Suppose I am saying function module for sum of two numbers. I will go for save. I will go for OK. Now I will simply, simply activate this function module. So we created the function module through SC37 transaction code. Now we will go for more, more clarity here. Just see this function module R is now in this function group, is in this fun particular function group. Okay. Now just simply, simply refresh your function group or you can go for SC80 again. It is your wish. I, I am refreshing this function group. Now I will simply, simply go for this particular UXX. Have you seen? Previously, it was blank completely. Now we got a first include and XX is replaced by what? U01. Whenever I will double click on to this include, you can see this is our first function module which we created. Now you got that the more more clarity why I'm saying that we can go for 99 function module. Whenever we will create another function module, we will get one more include there, which has U02. Whenever you will double click onto that include, it will navigate to your function module itself. And just see now more, more clarity. Previously, this function module was not there at all. We have only two includes there. Now we have one more thing for the function module and whenever I will expand this, you can see one function module is present in this function group. This is full, full, full clarity. So whenever you are going for function module, yes, we are always, always saving into function group. Previously, there was no function module there. When we saved our function module into function group, it came automatically. Previously, there was no include into this particular. Now we got include, which is now ending with U01. This XX replaced by 01. When I double click, it is navigating us to our first function module only. Now we will continue that topic. We created this function module. Whenever you are going for function module, we have these seven tabs. Attributes, import, 
export changing tables exception and source code each and every tab has a meaning we will cover the importance of each and every tab before we start with the practical of this firstly i will come on to attributes tab what is attribute tab we already covered attribute is always always the generic information or general information of that particular object so this attribute tab will give the general information or generic information of the function module just see what is the description of the function module this is the description we saved this function module into this particular function group i created this function module what is my id user1 on what date i created this today's 30th date so i created this function module on which particular date what is the type of the function module as of now this function module is normal function module so this all generic information of function module is always always available in the attributes tab generic information means what is description what is the name of function group who created or at what date this particular function module created so all generic information is the part of attributes tab now i will come on to import we all know import means what import means the input whatever the input parameters are there you will always always pass in the import tab now what is export export means output whatever the output parameters you want to give you will always always give as a part of export tab now what is changing changing can act as both changing can be input parameter changing can be output parameter now we have another tab tables so whenever we want to go for internal tables we will always always make use of this table tab table tab is used for declaring the internal tables now the next tab is exception word itself is saying the purpose of exception tab is to raise the exception or error whenever you want to raise a exception or error with the help of function module we will always always make use of exception tab and the last tab is source code word itself is saying source code in the source code tab you will write the logic of the function module whatever the logic we want to write so whenever we created the function module it has total seven tabs attribute tab is all about the generic information of the function module generic information means date username function group name package name this all information is the part of your attribute tab import stands for input parameter whatever the input parameters we want to give to the function module we will always always give in the import tab whatever the output parameters are there we will always give through export tab changing can act as both it can be input parameter it can be output parameter table tab is used for declaring the internal tables in the exception tab we will raise the exception or we will declare the exceptions or errors whatever the exceptions you want to raise or whatever the errors you want to raise and in the source code tab we will write the logic so what is the summary of the video in this video we created one function module using sc37 transaction code when we created the function module through sc37 it asked for the function group 
and we save the function module into function group. When we save the function module into function group, we are able to see a extra thing here into our function group that is function module. And in this UXX, in this UXX, we got a include which ends with U01. And in this U01, we have our first function module. We have total seven tabs in the function module. Attributes, generic information, import, input, export, output. Changing can act as both input and output. Tables is for internal table. Exceptions is used to raise or raise the error or exception. And in the source code tab, we will write the logic. Now in the next video, we will start writing the logic into this function module for the sum of two numbers. So that's it in this video. Thank you.